So if you guys are interested in finance and monetary policy, two words you have probably been hearing about lately is the word hawkish and dovish. And in this video, we're going to take a look at what these words mean. So let's start right away here by taking a look at the word dovish. So the word dovish refers to a policy or policymaker that aims to stimulate economic growth. So a dovish policy is a policy that wants to stimulate economic growth. And how do we stimulate economic growth with monetary policy? Well, the main way to do that is to increase the money supply. And we can actually increase the money supply in different ways. One of the most common way and the classic sort of monetary policy is to decrease the interest rates. So they want to lower the interest rates because when we have lower interest rates, it's less costly to borrow money, which will lead to people borrowing more money, which leads to more consumption of goods and services, which leads to more demand. And this will actually stimulate economic growth. And that is exactly what a dovish policymaker wants to do. Uh, an example of when we had a very dovish uh, policy was during the, the COVID crash. We pushed the interest rates all the way down to zero, but we did not only push the interest rates down, we also did another thing to increase the money supply. And this leads to the second thing uh, a dovish policymaker can do, and that is to print money. So we can also increase the money supply by printing money. A fancy word for printing money is QE which stands for quantitative easing. But that is basically the same thing as printing money. And this is straightforward. You increase the money supply. You give. You can, for example, hand out money to people, which will, which will make them buy more goods and services, which will stimulate economic growth. However, if you have a policy that is too dovish, this can actually lead to the economy getting too stimulated and the economy can actually be overheated. It can lead to problems such as inflation, which is a huge problem we are having right now. I think the latest numbers are at around 8% and high inflation is bad for the whole economy. So if the economy is overheated, then we might want a monetary policy that is hawkish instead of dovish. So what is hawkish? Well, it's pretty much the op opposite of dovish. It is someone who wants to restrict economic growth. By the opposite of dovish, we can increase interest rates. When we increase interest rates, it's more costly to borrow, which will lead to less people borrowing money and less people buying goods and services. This will drive down the economic growth and hopefully also slow down the inflation. And this is actually what we're seeing right now. The Federal Reserve, for example, the largest central bank in the world, is currently pretty hawkish because we do have such a big inflation problem. So the Federal Reserve right now wants to slow down the economy. So that is why we are, for example, increasing interest rates. So we can say here that being hawkish, the main reason is often to fight inflation. We can actually compare these words and draw an analogy between bullish and bearish. So these are two words you might have heard or you have probably heard if you are into uh, into finance. Uh, bullish and bearish, this is not, these words does not mean the same thing, but you can sort of draw an analogy because someone who is bullish thinks that something will go up and is in general for economic growth and think that something will increase in value and bearish is the opposite. You, you think something will decrease in value. You think that growth will slow down. So these words are kind of similar, but at the same time different. But all right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you feel like you got any kind of help or value, then please consider dropping a like. And guys, as you can see, this was kind of a different video. I plan to make some more, uh, you know, finance videos here on the channel. Um, so guys, if you have any suggestions on what you want to see next, uh, what topic you want to see next on the channel, please drop a comment down below. But for now, guys, take care. Ciao, ciao.